that's a nice blend of legal stuff. Hello, hello everybody, Dennis Allen, City Boy Homesteader here. I am in, I'm gonna butcher the name again, I'm not even gonna try. Um, but it's the Georgia Mounds, um, Effably or something. I will show you when I get somewhere with a sign so you could read it yourself because I'm not a good reader. Or just a rememberer of names, especially when they don't make any sense. I'll remember it by the time I'm done with this tour. But this is um, a controversial place. Um, let me flip the camera so you don't see my ugly face. You can see this. Visitor center, we'll go there first. Um, controversial place, they, these are, they call them the Indian Mounds. But, excuse me. Visitor center, no name yet, of course. Let me park. This is the visitor center. I'm gonna go visit it and hopefully get a name of the place. I still haven't got it. 14 minutes into the gosh damn video. There we go. Small print. Oak. Mogi Mounds National Historical Park. Historical NFTs, historical parts. We are there. Wow, we got a lot of walking to do. Um, wow, yeah, that's pretty cool. They said they're expanding this. The funny thing is the town seems like it's built on mounds too. Like all the streets go up and then they level off and then they go up and then they level off. Man, this whole area seems like it was built on probably historical mounds from 20,000 years ago. So excited to be here. All right, we snuck into one of the little huts. Oh, that's not true. Um, we are in the back of the museum right now. There's so much in here um, that I want to show you, so let me get to it. All right, we're in the front. We're gonna go around this circle. Um, going from the oldest people to the most recent. So it's pretty amazing. I'm going to show you some arrowheads. Let me try to get another view. Nope, like this one best. So here's a mammoth bone. Just whip through this real quick. It's a gift shop that's 50,000 years old. Can you see that? Whoa, look at that. All different tools. Made by him. A boiling stone. I have no idea what that is. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so cool. They heat the rocks and then they cook. Oh, that's so smart. And these people were here. Wow. So this is almost 12,000 years ago. And they have these really advanced tools. That's pretty amazing. And ways to put holes in rocks. Wow. They were neat pottery. Look at that. These tools are pretty amazing. I mean, wow. So 12,000, remember that. Look how intricate that is. And we're gonna go 3,000 years ago. I don't think these guys are 3,000 years old. But well, you can touch it, but I don't have a hand. And then look how advanced those tools are. Just a stone that could even be held up with glue. Are these more advanced or less advanced? Riddle me that one, Batman. The pottery. It's 
So this is the park. Eleven hundred years ago. Oh, I want that. Here we are now. And look how advanced these tools are. Oh, look at that one. These are ancient stampers. And there's the pottery from this time. Hey, now here are the arrowheads. Hold on. I don't know if this is working. But for a museum, they should probably not put big lights like that. I mean, windows. So this is the older stuff. Going newer. Newer. I'm trying to put my head in a light. And then down to the newest stuff, the Mississippians. And they're the ones that they say built this. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. So this is the mound of, you can't even see it. That sucks. But you can see the colors. But this was a mound that um, a railroad track went through in the 30s, um, some, I forget his name, probably that guy, um, had his painting painted. I don't know if it's original, but just to show the colors because they didn't have any color photographs. Pottery, wow, so amazing. I guess the nice parts are what they found in recreations. Wow, it's so cool, it's like my tattoo. Monuments, to, oh, here we go. This is the map, map I need of all the different places where I wanna go. See, I was just down there, I could've went there. Now up in, where up in there? Probably go to that. I know it's on my list. No idea what that is. Oh, I passed it. Gosh darn it. So we're gonna head up to there. And then probably there. And then up there. That's on the list of to-goes. Oh yeah, this is great. Man, these things are everywhere. And just remember that for years, ever since us idiots. Look at that thing. We've been plowing over this shit for years, just destroying it all. These are the ones that survived. And the ones that we found, I'm sure there's a lot more, but. All right, we're gonna kind of whip through here real quick. Designing an ancient city, like they said, over 250 years ago. No, I don't know, read that. I'm not doing your homework, people. I'll bring you to the river and you could fish. Teach you how to read. If you don't know how to read, that's cool. But just pause. But I'm really not sure how they know any of this stuff, what the years are. I know a lot of people like Randall Carlson and uh, the other guy say that these things were probably civilizations. Look, we can't even get this freaking glue to stay on the displays. Um, they say a lot of cultures, whoa, look at that. Wow. A lot of the cultures were, could have been here a lot longer and just, well, I mean, they do say that people were here, but the mounds could have been built on top of other things. You know what I'm saying? So the true civilization and the advanced people that built everything were probably older than the last known Indians that were here. More pottery. Man, it's fascinating. Look at that guy. Man. That's 
amazing. So beautiful. How's that like not Aztecian? I guess Mississippian. So a lot of people say that these people came from down south. Holy cows. I mean, look, Kong. I mean, these people definitely did. And they brought their traditions and their old stuff. Copper sun discs. Wow. Fascinating. There was a story I was watching about this very area that, uh, you know, farmers would just plow this stuff over. It's a hot seat. And, you know, one farmer found some old tools. This is what we're going to go into later. Holy cows, I didn't think it was that big. Holy shizzle tanks. So, yeah, they say that these people built this, maybe. Who knows? Look at that. Wow. Yeah, this video is probably jibber jabber, but whatever. It's maybe one day somebody will edit all this crap and edit me out. Try it for yourself. How many ways can you find decorate poly? I don't know. Oh, maybe we'll see that more pottery this is pretty much it we're gonna get going outside and checking everything out fascinating so these were stamps they we just press these into the things I mean I guess a lot of them like were not stamps maybe but it'd be a lot easier to mass produce something if it was on a bunch of stamps iron hoe blade Look at the jewelry. Wow. Brass monkey? Oh no, brass buttons. Oh, these are conquistadors. Eddie Murphy, you're not on a leash. I mean, you are on a leash. It says dogs must be on a leash. It doesn't say anything about having to hold them. So, we are outside and we're gonna walk this. This is mind-blowing that they built this it's already huge and uh, pretty awe-inspiring wait till you hear what I got to say later in this video about one of the sections um, and what happened it's pretty fascinating but we'll get there later it's probably a two-mile course we're gonna walk so stay tuned no commercials commercial free this is a creek we are to the right of the mound that we're going into. Look, it's even got trains. Um, I'm taking pictures of these. These are all be at the end of the video. But we're gonna go walk up this little mound. Oh my God, there's so many of them. And they're so big. I feel very historical being on these. I mean, this is powerful. I mean, the, wow, this is, Huge, you know, I thought it would just been one mound, but what do you see? They're all over there. The lady said that's a town and you could see it as I'm driving in That the whole town is built on stuff like this, you know, like Levels and then they go up and this is like a round mound Who knows why? Wow, this is gonna be fun. Look, they even have storm drawers in there Eddie Murphy's definitely digging it. Where's the gopher? Where's the gopher? Holy cows! So there's a big ditch. Oh, that's huge. Big holes in there. Yeah, who knows why? With these canals, I mean, could have just had a tube in there. I mean, a lot of, oh, so here's something. A lot of uh, ancient places I know were built on springs. So maybe the main one had a spring way underneath. Maybe that's why that creek is there. And they even said that they were built on top of each other. So the older ones are deep below. And so say, like even the, the Great Pyramid of Giza, I believe, has a spring in the middle. Maybe they just kept pushing the water up and having it trickle down into these things and irrigate. Who knows? 
That's my explanation. I just came up with that. Or I could have heard it somebody else on a podcast, maybe. But here's a look at all this devastation. Fire ants just moving in, destroying everything. Imagine all the trees that were here. Like on my property, every time a tree, especially on a hill, grows and falls, it just takes a big chunk out of the soil. So who knows exactly after thousands of years what this place actually looked like. You know, luckily we, I mean, come on. Whew. Who knows? This is fascinating. There's a moon. Wow, this place is fresh fly. All right, we're going into the Earth Lodge now. Oh wow, this is crazy. So it's a long passageway. That's where the electrical room is. The ancients used electrical rooms too. Wow, look at this. Whoa. Oh, I thought you could sit in here. That stinks. Oh man. I was so willing to hang out in there. So they say that this was um, covered in by the people and they found the floor. They're saying that's 900 years old. I don't know about that. You can see how the seats are kind of like wings, I think, for this bird. Ceremonial thing, maybe a fire in the middle. Oh man. But it's a clay floor. Got little seats for everybody. Come on, camera. Wow, so cool. It's a pretty advanced building. That's for sure. This is a lot harder to build than my yurt was. Have a little puff puff in here. Uh oh, we're getting locked in. Go, 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 go. Leaving the earth mounds of. Oh boy, the dog won't get out of my way. So cool. How could you not think this is an ancient pyramid? I just left out of there. Um, it is a cement dome now. They're protecting the floor because I guess that's the only part that they uh, could salvage. They found timbers and everything. Oh, here. Oh, I guess this is the spot. Oh, yeah, Eddie, stay. So this is the area that the train um, cut through these mounds. And the picture are... I'm really assuming is, can you see over there? That's an extreme close up of the sides there. Wow, devastation, they just, so, oh, it's fascinating. So this whole thing that we're standing on, we're probably 60 feet up, 50, 40 feet up. Um, the base, goes way down to where those tracks are so this is up and then this is on top of a even bigger mound I mean so this base mound is enormous holy cows and they put all this stuff here fascinating and they're saying only X amount of years ago 900 years ago or something I mean why would people that I mean 900 years they were pretty primitive, you know, living in huts. I gotta let Eddie go. And uh, holy shizzle tangs. And there's a, what the heck kind of train is that? Yo! I'm a little lost. It didn't look like a train. Um, but yeah, these primitive people 
like literally spent I forget how many billions or millions of buckets of dirt to build all this I find that hard to believe hard to believe that they would spend that much energy and resources building this I mean like Eddie don't fall I mean you know we have a quarry so you're pretty good but this whole thing from down there to up here Wow, how much work. I mean, this is just as, I don't know what the size, I mean, it's gotta be bigger, the base of the Great Pyramids or smaller. It's one of those two, I guarantee it. That's from my extent of knowledge of history. It's very limited, folks. We are already walking off the trails, look, an ancient can. What's this sign say? Okay. So I figured it said they really didn't have one where I entered. I mean, even the ancient people, like how they built these cement pathways is amazing. That's a joke. Come on, dog. No dogs. That's not true. They do let dogs, but probably have to be unleashed. All right, we're crossing that little bridge right there. You see it? I don't know. Whatever. We're crossing this bridge. You don't need to see that, but it's a really cool bridge. Everybody loves bridges. At least I do. Close at 5 p.m. It's good. Free admission, folks. So save your pennies for just gas and food. You don't have to worry about paying. I don't understand. All this was just built up. Mind boggling. Mind boggling. Coming on the outside of the bridge. Look how big that freaking mound is. It's a big old freaking mound. It's a big old freaking mound. Oh, what a big old freaking mound it is. Boop All right, we are in one of these little divots. It's pretty cool. I don't know if this is like a little fort thing, but this would be kind of cool to hang out and shoot spears at people or machine guns. I don't know. No idea what they're for. They're all over. They could have been I don't know. No idea what that is. A little racetrack, maybe. Man, this is huge. I keep saying that. That's like all my videos. Oh, look at that. These were probably post holes for a bigger structure around this thing. Oh, I could see that. Look, they even have a cone in there. How deep does that go? Yeah, I bet you these were post holes. Maybe like an entrance, that's why there's four, or six, or eight. Oh, fascinating. So fascinating, dog. Yep, you're gonna get bit. All right, well, I guess I was right, but it was kind of new. That's, that's funny. But who knows? I mean, it could have been they just built on top of something else. Because they obviously did build on top of something else. Now I gotta walk down to go back up. Oh, maybe that's, I don't know, is there another bridge? Tunnel? Who knows? Prevent tick bites. Oh boy. Eddie's definitely enjoying himself. Right, Eddie? You having fun? This is like our property, but just bigger and cooler. I was thinking how cool would it be to buy a piece of land that's next to this. It's probably cheap because this whole town seems like it's falling apart. Um, whoa. So yeah, you can drive to all these parts and then just, we're gonna do the walking tour. This is the funeral mound coming up in the Great Temple Mound. Eddie, you didn't wait for me to cross. I'll let you slide this time. Let's see what's down here. All right, we're gonna try this. This is a little boardwalk. Maybe we'll play some uh, skee ball. And get the alligators. Come on, Eddie. All right, we did not find a boardwalk down there. It's jibber jabber. Um, but here's a boardwalk, but it's on top. We were down there. But can you imagine how much dirt? I mean, they didn't have any even buckets. They were using supposedly little straw baskets. One at a time, they took all the dirt from somewhere and put it on these huge mounds. 
acres and acres they're all over the city I mean we are literally surrounded by city I think one side is not but the rest of it is all buildings and very old buildings that they probably just all tore down for progress folks progress look at this we made it to the top you could see the uh, mound that we were in the little pyramid one we walked all through this this is all mounds this water actually looks higher in elevation there's a river down there do you see it so that definitely looks high ele higher I mean lower elevation than this so they probably built the dam I bet you again my theory spring it's at the base of this springs maybe and they built a civilization on that because once you have a spring and you could force it up then you have irrigation to everywhere below but when you have a spring down at water level you know everything is low there and you can't plant so if you were to put a spring and then just have a clay pipe just you know it's getting pushed out of the ground just push it up higher and then it that's just my theory but it's a good one see how there's cities everywhere it's crazy and it's crazy that they're pretty much the same height as this so were they built too possibly I don't know it's a theory all right, from there, I'm going to take a walk around this place, show you the edges. Again, probably not. Look at that ancient box. Probably not the best YouTube video, uh, but for documentation, I think it's pretty fascinating. Just to show you the size and scale of this. And what was that? Was that like an alien launching dock or something? Like, why? Why are these built like this? They talk about the railroads come in here. Or maybe that was a railroad that dug that ditch out. Or us. Who knows? Eddie's hanging out by the deck. He's smart. But look at this. So fascinating. And how did they even discover this? You know? If it wasn't someone poking around, finding some artifacts and telling a friend this could have just still been a, a mound of trees and just jibber jabber that nobody could really tell what it was you know and how many of these are still out there how many are under, underneath that city where they built years ago wow we're about halfway there's a dog coming come here Eddie Murphy get over here Get over here, mister. He's the best. He's the best. Continuing the edge tour. Took some photos of my crypto school. Anyway. Eddie likes to walk in front of me. Trip me. Walking on fire ants all over the place. I put my mug on there and it was full of fire ants. Took some pictures. It was pretty cool. But, I mean, can you see the, the size of this thing? how enormous it is and again very primitive people uh, basic tools why and is it possible that they actually built this and again why and how is a big thing look these people came and come up with a baby carriage it's gonna be easier going down I guess why don't you just leave the baby carriage carry the baby Anyway, not my problem, folks. So cool. Back at the beginning. Whew. Did a little meditating in the middle. It was pretty nice.